Okay. I think it's turned on. Which is great. No. Включи, включи, ли? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. turned on. It's why it's red. Okay, so our first question, which we're gonna tackle, is what's beauty? And who wants to give their definition first? Okay, I'll give my definition first. So, uh, I think that beauty means uh, like what most people think uh, looks good. Like uh, the uh, most part of the country or the society. I think society is a better word. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So your idea of beauty is what is most commonly agreed upon in appearance. Absolutely. <laughs> you didn't what do you think beauty means? Well, what I think beauty means is uh, that beauty in itself is a very fluctuating and changing constantly term. Which is basically the same thing. But, uh, let's, uh, let's and beauty drags along a lot of terms with it like fashion which is yes. a tool for beauty yes a tool in a way to execute it yeah uh so yeah. what do you uh, with fashion one can uh express itself themselves them, them abs absolutely one can achieve themselves cousin okay um you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah I'm a, Plant, catch it, okay, so wh what do you think is beautiful? Why is it beautiful? Uh, like, uh, like what I personally think. Yeah, what you per well, when I say you, I mean you, as like, an entity. Uh, okay. As an entity. <laughs> so you know. Okay, so like something perfect. That's what I think the beauty means. That something yeah. is done to perfection and cannot be perfected more. But what is perfection? Like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, These are some uh, profound uh, questions. Uh, uh, mm, mm -hmm. Good question. What do you think about the, the, the What? I can't say uh, with uh, one word. Well, we are. We have plenty of time, so you can say it with a few words. <laughs> You know, feel free to say it with as many words as you want to. You don't, everybody have the distinct measurements for things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like uh, most people have... Agree on certain Yeah, have agreed on some me certain measurements. Of like... Uh, well, I agree. On certain things, people agree. Okay. And I think that's, that's real damn cool. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, what do you th what do you think fashion means? What do what does fashion mean? Well, yeah, I think fashion is a a tool and a way to execute beauty. Like that that's what fashion is. It's uh, a tool for beauty to shine. But uh, are there any it's other uh, like uh, uh, parts that uh, fashion can uh, let give a wh where fashion is part of like uh, you cannot um, like fashion self expression is a part of, you mean yeah some kind of a self expression well I think beauty is a form of self expression and fashion being a tool to beauty obviously will show some uh, resemblance to self expression so the tool you use to express yourself is fashion yeah. mostly well no it, i never said that <laughs> uh self-expression comes in many forms be it in your acts in the way you dress in the way you talk in the way you make choices everything is self-expression because you're expressing yourself um so i know i don't know beauty is a form of self-expression and I think fashion is its tool. What do you think about fashion yourself? Um, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, as a tool? No, no, uh, it's definition. Because I, uh, I think of fashion. Like, 
I don't think it's mostly the way you dress, but I'm gonna use uh, only this type of fashion. Uh, understatement, uh, understanding, un, un, definition, und, definition of fashion. Like uh, the fashion is uh, a way to is express yourself uh, w through um, dressing with of, of, of some kind, certain. Clothing. Certain way, yeah, of clothing. So, of clothing. what if everybody looked the same now that we've discovered what beauty well, and fashion yeah. is? Well, what if everybody looked the same? Well, there won't be just some kind of like there won't be uh, tema na razgor kake. Topic of conversation. Topic of conversation. It won't be from now on. It won't be and beauty won't be anything unique. Yeah. You know? It won't be probably a thing because mm -hmm. if everybody looked the same, Absolutely. there's no beauty. Is a, not only a form of self-expression, as a form of measurement of a person. So, if everybody looked the same, I don't think there would have been there would be a need for this sort of measurement. Like yeah. if there wasn't any distances, we would need kilometers, miles, and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> um. Bless you. Uh, thank you. Uh, but uh, what do you think about I what uh, ideal beauty is and how can the pursuit of it be dangerous? Well, ideal beauty is, for me personally, it's it doesn't matter how you dress as long as you're confident in it. Just sneeze already. <laughs> <coughs> so that's the most disappointing <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Okay, okay. I don't know. Ideal beauty is uh, like they say in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. But I think for me, ideal beauty is when somebody is confident in their appearance. Like it doesn't matter if you're mm -hmm. overweight or you're wearing what would be considered otherwise ugly clothes. Mm -hmm. As long as you're confident in them, I don't think it would really matter. So uh, the clothes you are uh, confident with are a way to express your ideal uh, are your perception of ideal beauty not only the clothes beauty for me is everything as long as you're mm -hmm. confident in it i think oh. it's beautiful no, but, uh, 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 but uh, that uh, is my, my ideal of beauty ideal beauty what about yours uh well, I'm not that kind of person that uh, thinks about beauty much. Like, uh, if it fits and <laughs> I'm okay fits, with I it, sits. it's okay, yeah. <laughs> if it fits, I sit. That's yeah. a great quote. That's a great quote. Yeah. Uh, so, like, we both don't understand much people who, like, think so much about how they look like because... Well, I think I you can understand them to a, in, an extent, but I don't necessarily agree with them. I mean, I can, I can technically mm -hmm. understand what they mean when they don't think oh. they look good enough or they want more and more and more. I just don't agree. Mm. But, well, how can the pursuit of ideal beauty be dangerous? Well, it can be dangerous in many ways, like... Like the way in which you're shoving that book at me, it, it, the possibilities are endless. Generally, anything can be dangerous as long as you overdo it, you know. Mm. The dose makes the poison. Uh, so. Yeah, for, for well, example. Well, unless you've eaten uh, worms, then it doesn't matter how many you eat, you're still gonna die. Yeah, that happened during the, uh, uh, the start of in uh, the 20th century. I don't think this is the... Yeah, it is. The 20th, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, like... Yeah, early 90s, that yeah. it was in Europe. God. Uh, so, like, people... Uh, would eat worms so that they can yeah. gorge and everything else. Which mm -hmm. is, you know... Not okay. Scary. <laughs> scary. Yeah. Scary to think that you'd put a living being inside of yourself just so yeah. that you can be skinny. But then again, they didn't know the dangers of it, so... Yeah. You can give them that. It, or maybe they like, did. If, if they did know the dangers of it, then... Kudos mm -hmm. to them for the bravery. <laughs> yeah. Good job, guys. You didn't make it far. You helped us be smarter. And 
say that. Most of them. <laughs> exactly. Like, of, That's what I'm saying. Starving. If you were stupid enough to eat them, then you left the smart ones behind. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> like for example, also uh, during the end of the Renaissance, like. Woman I think would, during I think. most of the Renaissance, they wore corsets. Yeah, not about those corsets, but uh, tiny waist they, and pale face. Yeah, but they also used a lead ba- uh, lead based lead makeup. Ba- yeah, makeup. Yeah, which uh, for those who don't know, lead is poisonous. Poisonous, uh, and they would die of makeup, which is pretty. I mean, colors, deadly colors in beauty and in the world. Well, beauty and and colors are kind of close tied, but there's an interesting history behind colors, especially now I remembered about lead. Uh, wasn't famous only in the medi the the medieval century. No, no, Elizabeth's times, as they say. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know when that was like the ren- uh, let's say Renaissance. Renaissance, no, I don't. I, that looks uh, the more, end of the Renaissance. It looks more medieval, you know, no background, just a figure just standing there. It's fine. Humanism, Renaissance. I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna argue. I didn't pay attention, so I don't know. Okay, uh, but lead was also used in Greece. In ancient Greece, uh, they made their sculptures out of lead, and that's why uh, they called uh, some artists the artistry job, the job of the blind, if I'm not wrong, because they'd inhale lead dust, they'd go blind, they'd oh. die constantly. It was it was great to be alive then, you know, <laughs> like happy to be alive. They also did like, uh, do you know? Um, the saying "mad as a hatter." Yeah, that's from uh, the hats. What mm. they made them with? What was it? Um, what was the point? Um, mercury. 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 So they put mercury on in the hats. Uh, in the hats, yeah. And they went crazy. And they're like, oh. yay! They lost the mind. Oh, mercury. I don't think mm. they were aware of the mercury in their hats. Yeah, but, but not they they wouldn't get crazy from like putting the hats on the on their heads, but mostly like working with it and constantly. Constantly, yeah. Yeah, I get it. Or the Egyptians. What what a fancy what a fancy Egyptian lady. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Cleopatra. Let's say that. that, 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 that let's that, 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 assume. Yes. Give her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> uh, the ancient Egyptian used bromine f- to stain their lips, which is, you know, smart. If you didn't know, bromine is incredibly toxic I and think... kills people who put their lips, who stain their lips with bromine. Just don't go into contact with bromine. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 a that's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good yeah. summary of it. Don't go into contact with anything dangerous. You know, be re- be responsible. Like human Asian beings. Egyptians, like Elizabeth, or, or yeah, Greece, or the ancient Greeks, or whatever. You know, or hatters. You you want to talk about dark is beautiful or. Uh, Wait. The um. Let's get body positive. Uh, the campaign. No, just just the topic about people of color. Yeah, because there is a campaign called "Dark Is Beautiful." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which like uh helps. Which supports. Yeah, uh, supports. People avoid people of color avoid uh, whitening cream as it's called, which is basically bleach, so that you can look. Lighter skinned, which yeah. is kind of, kind of messed up. Kind of like the lead based. Uh, yeah, only. Yeah. Well, yeah, kind of like it. I, so, I, like, I, yeah, yeah. I didn't get, I don't get how it passes regulations, how it's sold. Well, like, everything is a little bit toxic if used in. Well, what, yeah, but gule bleach. Gule bleach. In great quantities. Yeah. yeah, but bleach is, you know, it's universal that it's not a good idea, so 
like who who approved these things to be sold for well, widening purposes to have they, commercials of like, like probably on the on the Opakovka package on the package it says n- like not use it uh, cautiously like, yeah to use it cautiously like once a week or something yeah yeah I don't think you should use bleach in any sort of like that's right kind of kind of sounds stupid so like with whose regulations did this product pass let alone did they make uh, commercials with celebrities mm. we wasn't that it I think Milano that's not what we're no, no, no. Well, oh. no matter. So, uh, like... Here, here. It's worth around $45 million every year. Hundreds of men and women. I'm just going to have to do this. Vanka, tu ka chitem nešto za da... za informacija tka če ne... Ah, here, here, see? But this does not stop. These screams are bleaching agents can have adverse side effects, but these this does not stop the companies which make them from advertising them sometimes even enlisting the help of celebrities yeah like uh, uh, like that poster that? with uh, here it is the poster with uh, and this one this is uh, this, is she, this Indian girl is a celebrity she's I a think. celebrity yeah but yeah, she's not I don't know. supporting the bleach she's against it she's in a post she's in a poster campaigning against, against the, the bleach yeah <coughs> Well, That's technically, the poster says it's not a campaign against fair skin, but instead it's a campaign supporting the color with which you're born. Like, yeah, it, it stay- explicitly states it. So let's let's not be mean. Yeah, yeah. It says stay unfair, stay beautiful, but in unfair, uh, like UN is isn't big. So is that big. like the United Nations stay unfair to the United Nations. No, I think it's more like un as a dismissive and then uh-huh. fair as in fair skinned. So okay. like stay stay the way you are. But is there is something with and United Nations. I don't know what still, No, it's what? just UN is big words. I'm oh, pretty okay. sure there's nothing oh, okay. related to the United Nations. Nothing political there. Nothing political. I don't suspect. What about let's get body positive? I think that's. I don't know what body positive is. It is body positive. Does it mean like being confident with your body? Well, yeah, it's in the name body positivity. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so like body positivity. Uh, that's a fun topic, especially yeah. considering the baggage it holds. Yes, it's like you should be okay. Like if you're a little bit chubby, you could uh, like uh, don't get obsessed with try with trying to get uh, thinner, thinner. Or if you you're, um, for example, if you don't like you're feeling too fat, no matter how you look, don't push yourself to go skinnier and skinnier because that's yeah. I think that's a very bad. Try idea. to go fit but not skinny. Like the more. No, 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 it's working. Okay. The more, uh, as long as you're healthy, there's just more of you to love. I don't think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As long as you're healthy, there it doesn't matter if uh, you're overweight. If you're healthy, it doesn't matter what the weighting scale says. Because sometimes it can't necessarily be right. Mm. Uh what else? Plastic there surgery. We're not even gonna. I'm not some, gonna. Okay, let's no, talk about plastic no, surgery. I don't want to talk about plastic surgery. Uh, Such a no, pleasant topic. We plastic. missed the plastic surgery <laughs> okay. one. You are a bit of an idiot. Um, was this no last guy plastic surgery? No, it's here. Okay. If you really want to talk about plastic surgery, let's talk about plastic so, surgery. So like, uh, I think that plastic surgery is a good thing, like because. Uh, if you like had an operation, uh, like uh, against breast cancer, yeah, of some kind, and like you, you're not okay with the scar and the fact, so. or you're missing a titty. Yeah, you gotta fix. Yeah. If you really want to, you can fix it. Yeah, I, legs. Yeah, I think depending on the circumstances, like yeah. with breast cancer or any other problem. Or, for example, what we were just talking about, about 
being body, body positive. Like sometimes, like the people you mentioned that were severely overweight, mm -hmm. after they lose weight, they can still have problems with like uh, excess skin. So you know, like that's considered cosmetic surgery. Mm -hmm. Some some people just uh, add to their yeah, but appearance. no. What I mean is, uh, p uh, people who are extremely overweight and cannot like do exercises and stuff they just go and be operated like um they uh, um, cut the, the parts fat. of their yeah the fat yeah which well, also looks awful well i mean whatever is gonna help them i mean if you're physically unable to get fit then you you know yeah. it'd be better to remove it mm -hmm. surgically than mm -hmm. to stay the mm -hmm. way you are uh, but, uh, you know, I think cosmetic surgery is entirely based on circumstances. Yeah. Like, my personal opinion will vary from person to person. Like, if you're doing it just because you can and you're chasing an ideal beauty standard, uh, you know, I, like, I might not like it, but it's your life, you can go for it. Mm. But if you know if it's for medical reasons or like again breast cancer which is in a sense chasing a beauty standard um go for it you know yeah. it's your life but just be cautious of uh, the um, aftermath if it likes uh, but if you hadn't had any issues or some kind of problems and then you and you just think mm -hmm. oh that looks good i don't know what then, that. yeah yeah uh, because um, uh, most of the people think that looks good, and then you go there, and, and it doesn't, and it, and it, it doesn't look good, and you're not confident with it, and then it just feels sad. Like yeah, that's kind of. Uh, I feel sad for those that, that's people sad. who just can't go things back. Like can, can you though? No. Like it's no. It's, uh, it's silicone. Can't you reopen the wound? And yeah, take but then technically? it would look like very. I mean. Squ uh, nice squishy meat covers. Saggy. 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 Admittedly, you're correct, I yeah. think. But that was their own uh, choice, and mm -hmm. then they can make further choices, you know. Life's, mm. life's choices, actually, uh, life's, life's the aftermath of choices, that which aftermath creates more choices, but it's a mess. Generally, just do what you want to do and what you can afford to do. And what and be you careful. are sure you are going to do and is not going to make your life miserable. Yeah, try to uh, do your best retrospective work mm -hmm. there. But you're not required to, you know. You can make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. As Bob Ross said, it's happy little accidents. Yeah. Everything's okay. a happy little accident. We finally got to the reflection, which is... Which is a fun one. I mean, we already covered most of the things. Discuss these, we, like, questions, yeah. We already covered most of the things, but, mm -hmm. you know, what What do you want to talk about? Uh, From these questions. Let me see. Like, how do you want to reflect? Or maybe we could reflect in this. In this mm -hmm. I will Give us a second. Uh, yeah, it just say it just says what we did, so we don't have like. It said it in a summary. Thing. Yeah. In summary. So like this. we can just say goodbye to those people who just listened. I don't know how much like, minutes. So. Oh, it wasn't yeah. very. It was long. just babbling, 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 That's an amazing word. I admit it. That's an exponentizing word. That's a what word? <laughs> yeah, exponentizing. I've never heard that. What does it mean? Yeah, yeah, there's no word of, of this kind. I but, imagine. But it sounds like a word, though, don't you think? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Exponentizing. No, it doesn't. It does sound like It a sounds word. like something maybe Latin or... No, 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 it doesn't exist. It, it definitely... It sounds, it sounds like a word, but it doesn't exist. It, it doesn't sound like an it English word. It doesn't mean word. anything. Like it that. doesn't sound like an English word, that's for sure. Mm. But it does sound like a word. Any any sound any sound can sound like a word technically. Yeah. 
that's a another um как беше тема topic topic for another uh, разговор another, another discussion another discussion don't do that okay, okay, okay. You, nobody can hear you um that's a topic for another discussion you say yeah like thank you guys for um listening to us and be sure to subscribe to the uh school Ubikin, channel yeah we channel and vanka bogodriamci ciao yeah we're